In this problem here, we want to change this uh, quadratic equation into vertex form by completing the square. Right now, it is in standard form. So what I'm thinking is, you know, eventually I want this to be some sort of f of x equals something squared, and you know, maybe I have something after it, maybe I have something before it, but I, I'm looking for this uh, squared binomial. That's what I mean by completing the square. That's kind of my goal for uh, this, this problem here. So to start, let's kick this 12 over. Uh, because I'm not going to use that uh, right away in completing the square. I'm going to kind of put that off to the side for now so that I have an x squared plus 8x. Now, remember the, the goal or the desired, um, the desired polynomial to have here on the other side is to have something like it in the form x squared plus bx. So this is like all that I want to have uh, on my right side of the equation. Um, so if I had an a to factor out, I'd factor that out. I did have a C that I moved over, and actually now I'm seeing I didn't quite move the whole thing over, so let me fix that. Uh, this should be f of x minus 12. Let's fix that, f of x minus 12. Uh, okay, and so now that I have this x squared plus bx over here, uh, I'm going to think what am I going to have to add to this term, or add to this this quadratic in order to make this a perfect square trinomial. Remember, I want this to be something squared. So uh, I know that I have an x in here, uh, since x times x is going to give me x squared. And I'm thinking about what, what number would I square in this place that would add to 8 and multiply to some other number. Well, the only number that, uh, that would add uh, itself to get to 8 would be whatever half of 8 is. And if you recall, we want to uh, in order to figure out what this um, this empty term here, this missing term, it, term is, I want to take half of the b term and square it. That's what my new c term is. So here is uh, 8. I take half of 8, which is 4. And I square that to give me 16. So 16 is going to be what my missing c term is. Uh, now, I can't just add numbers uh, all willy-nilly to my polynomial, so I need to make sure I add 16 on the left-hand side of this as well to keep it balanced. Um, all right, so now that I have that, let's see what I have here. I, I'm going to move down a little bit. Uh, what I have going so far is uh, f of x equals, uh, and then I have this minus 12 plus 16. Let's just consolidate that together and make that a minus 4. That equals x squared plus 8x plus 16. Uh, now this is nice because this factors uh, pretty nicely into a perfect square, as is the goal. So this is going to equal x plus 4 squared. If I square 4, I get 16. If I add a 4x and a 4x, I get an 8x. So that's where this comes from. Uh, the last thing I need to do is that I want to have uh, an f of x function, not just uh, f of x minus 4. So my final answer here, I'm going to move that 4 back over to get an f of x equals x plus 4 squared minus 4. Here's my vertex form equation, and here you can see the vertex is negative 4, negative 4.